Do you utilize Salesforce and want to send your file attachments and your submission PDFs straight to your Salesforce contact? Well, let me show you how in addition to Salesforce Prefill. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in my JotForm dashboard within Salesforce. And if you currently use Salesforce, but don't have JotForm, make sure you head to the app exchange to download JotForm. Now, as you can see, again, I'm currently on my JotForm tab and I have a form already set up, but with none of the bells and whistles. And again, we are going to send any file uploads or attachments that our users submit along with the submission PDF for each one to the contacts information in our contacts tab. And in addition to that, we're definitely gonna be looking at the pre-fill option as well to make form filling out so much easier for your users. So I'm gonna go ahead and hover over this one right here. We're gonna to choose to edit form. And you can see it really is a basic form. We have email, name, phone number, and then we have a place for them to upload a PDF or a document, whatever they're going to be uploading. So from here, let's head up to the top middle. We're going to choose settings. And on the left hand side, we're going to choose integrations and let's choose Salesforce. For this, we're going to choose to create or update a record. And this is going to be great for that pre-fill piece because pre-fill is going to allow your form to be filled in by the content that is already within Salesforce. So this is going to be updating a record for us. So let's go ahead and choose next. I am going to do this from the contact object. Perfect, we see everything mapped. And then right down here, we're gonna update an existing record. We're gonna to choose to do that off of the email since people's names might end up being the same. So we'll do email and email. And then right down here at the bottom, the attachments send submission PDF and file uploads to this record. Go and turn this on. And we're going to choose which one. So the file upload is going to be the uploaded file. And then the default is going to be the submission PDF. So we'll save. Perfect. Now let's do that pre-fill option. So under the publish tab on the left hand side, we're going to choose pre-fill then sales for dynamic pre-fill here. Again, we're going to look for that contact and we're going to do the lookup filters again. We're going to look by email so that if the email is equal to email and you're going to see this yellow, caution area right here is just letting you know that in order to make this even more secure for you that your users are updating the correct contact card for them you want to add additional filters so if you want to add in a last name filter you can do that as well but for this one i'm just going to go ahead and leave it as email now it says if multiple records match we can pre-fill with the most recent record or we can skip pre-fill that's totally on you and then of course we have our mapped fields right here that it's going to look at and pre-fill for us. So we'll save. And again, this is that same thing. Just are you sure that you only want to look for that one field? So yes, we are sure. And here we can see here under pre-fill source one, we're gonna pre-fill three fields, first name, last name, and phone number from the contact object if the email is equal to email. So from here, I'm gonna head up to my contacts tab and let's go ahead and open up Lacey's information. So we have Lacey's information. We have no notes or attachments. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy Lacey's email and we'll head back over to JotForm. I'm gonna open in a brand new tab. We're going to paste in her email and we have her information that immediately populated. We have Lacey Cook, we have her phone number. Let's go ahead and browse for a file. And we have our sponsorships PDF good to go. We'll submit. We're done. We can head back over to Salesforce, back over to our contacts tab. I'm going to go and click on Lacey again. And now we see we have some new attachments. I'm going to go ahead and do view all. So we have right here, we have her submission PDF, and then we can come back over here. And then we have that sponsorships PDF that they uploaded for us. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm, especially the pre-fill option to get your form attachments and submission PDFs over into Salesforce, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.